I still got him. Oh my gosh! Massive! 7.15. Good morning. I had to sleep with this on my pillow because this place is nasty. I have a metal chair. Morning. Goodbye. Honestly, it looks like a nice gloomy fishing day. All right, y'all, what is up? Welcome back. As you can see, on the road again. It's not my truck, got a rental car. And uh, we hopped out of the 402, sent her up to the old Minnesota. It's kind of a spontaneous trip, not exactly ideal conditions. Uh, only fishing one day up here with my buddy Tanner, and I had about a seven and a half hour drive. So I drove all last night, got in town about one o'clock in the morning, slept for a couple hours. And then, uh, as you saw, I had about an hour and a half drive. Today's agenda, we are chasing the old toothy critters. Um, there's probably some big pike in here as well, but the main agenda, big old fish of 10,000 casts. The old muskie up here, the Minnesota muskies. Fish one day, seven hour drive back uh, in a day and a half. Not exactly ideal, but that's why I came up here. My buddy Tanner up here definitely knows his stuff. Um, I was like, you know what? Sometimes you just got to let her fly and see where you land. And hopefully a big muskie lands on the end of our line today. So that's so what we're chasing today, a big old muskie. Um, he does run a guide service up here. I'll drop all this information down below if you guys want to come up here and uh, experience the old musky trips with them too. The muskies around town get uh, pretty fresh, if you said, and stuff. So heading out into the boonies, and uh, we know he's going to put us in the right direction. I think the rest is up to me. So get the boat in and uh, get the cast and fish 10,000 casts. Hopefully it doesn't take that long, but hopefully we can get her done some way. Once the water hits about 58, 60, they'll come back out to these open water basins, these flat areas, looking for neck downs, saddles, big expansive flats and bait fish. And they'll okay. come out here and chow on tulubies, ciscos, and schools of lake shiners. So you think they're done spawning already done and now spawning, they're moving back they out? They have scars on them. And some fish live out here year round, but 90% of the fish are in 10% of the lake. You'll find little wolf packs of them. Uh -huh. You'll just do circles through those wolf packs and just work them over and eventually the one will hit. Nice. What's the, what's the most so far that you've had follows or hookups in a day? One day I caught five and had 11 other Holy hits. crap. How many follows have you had in a day the most you think? Probably 60. Oh my God. Yeah. Well that, yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty impressive. Big old baits. So what pound line is this? Probably 80, 60? 100. 100? 100 pound master bait. Nice. Big old plastic. That's what, and the big bait against the wind, it just hung up there. So if I caught like 50 muskies, I would bet only five of them came on the big range. Gotcha. Yeah, they're chasing those bait fish. Yeah. They're chasing the bait. That's kind of cool. That was funny, because yeah, they had no attention to this, but you could see them following the bait. There's the it's big bait ball. Dang it. You hit it though, huh? Oh. Maybe you just set the hook a little sooner next time. I know. Gosh, dang it. Oh, yeah. That's new. Ah. Uh, That's all right. We'll get another one. God dang it. It's cool to see him follow it, though. Yeah. You get your heart going and just yeah. seeing him follow it. <laughs> yeah. Because you know that fish is just looking at you. Yeah. So, what I'll do is I'll just drive around at two to three miles an hour with the transducer pointed forward, I'll mark a school of bait, stop the boat, put the trolling motor in, and if you mark one muskie, there's usually a wolf pack. 
If you find one, that's all it takes. There's usually more. They don't school up, but there's general areas where they'll hang out. So I'll stop and cast for 20, 30 minutes, no action, just keep moving. Sometimes you'll find even outside of a feeding window, you just find a couple active fish. Usually, so like within the wolf pack, do you find lots of the bigger ones? kind of generating away from the wolf pack or is it all kind of the same size ones? It's or? pretty random. They pretty random? They themselves by size really, but gotcha. the more you find obviously, the better chance of a big one. Yeah, gotcha. So it's not, all right, it's big dog, he kind of roams and does that. It's, you can find day, whatever size. You know, they're not all out here at once. The other day I was casting cabbage flats and I did find some smaller ones and that's one that, ones that aren't coming on or coming off the spawn. They're just kind of living in the cabbage year round because gotcha. they're not at the, maturity age to be in the spawning cycle. Gotcha. Pretty cool. Well, we're going to keep bouncing spot to spot. He's got a bunch of different spots located on this lake. He knows it pretty well and uh, keep finding the bait and stuff and hopefully look into a big old toothy critter. But for now, we're going to head to the next spot and see what we can do. Keep his head down. Keep his head down. Oh, it's nice. oh. No! No! Oh my gosh! Oh! 43, you think? God dang it. I know. That's when I look down, it's like, oh my God, I think he has it. I set the hook, I thought we were getting him. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> yeah, he came up to the top right here. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Yeah, that stings pretty bad. I didn't think he was gonna come off. I didn't either after that hook set. What, is there anything different I could have done? No. So those lures are so heavy, you know? Yeah. It puts a lot of torque on those hooks. A lot of torque and angles once that lure is out of their mouth. That lure is just flopping around like this. Gotcha. Know? Probably about a 40, 43. 40, 43? What's that, about a 25? 20 pounder. 20 pounder. Dude, I'm shaking. He stayed on. Nice. We're getting, we're getting cool. I'm trying. Good. Good. Oh no. He's on. Go, 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 go. Got him. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, dude. He's not huge, but he's good. I'll take it. Oh. Dude, he went airborne so many times yeah, right yeah. here. They don't go airborne like that. Too oh my gosh. Put him in the net, buddy. Okay. Give me some slack. Nice man. Oh, he yeah, he was. Right as I cast it, he just came shooting up. It's like, oh my gosh. We we're in a pretty good spot. I just missed that one. We just did a circle right here. First cast back out. Oh my gosh. Dude, I wonder if that camera got all the action jumps. That was insane. Get all the tools ready. Okay. That was freaking gnarly. Boy, he had a lot of opportunities to come off. Too. Yeah, yeah, he did. Didn't I start putting angles like that? That was insane. Oh my gosh. Was he hooked fairly well? Yeah. Actually, no. He's just with one hook. Oh boy. He came off. I didn't even have to play him. Oh man, dude, I thought for sure he was coming off. <laughs> he got like two feet of air on that one. Especially when he was back by the motor, I was like, oh no, he's he's coming off. And barrel, it's like, he's still on, he's still on. He barrel rolled, jumped, and then dove. Oh my gosh, that was insane. I'm gonna get this over here. Just dunk the bump board to keep the slime coat on the fish. It's easier on the fish. Yeah. That's pretty cool, just a little net buddy. It holds the fish in the net. Yeah. Takes good care of the fish. Well, 
while you're going to get your tools and stuff. Let them revive in there. Dude. That was fun. <laughs> I'm like shaking. <laughs> oh my gosh. I couldn't have asked for a better fight either. Holy yeah. crap. The way he jumped like that was sweet. Oh my gosh, dude. Y'all gotta hit Tanner up and come try this. I'm shaking. Probably in a feeding window. Yeah. Usually when you get one, the light switch is either on or off. I was gonna say, it seems like they're doing pretty good and pretty active right now. Yeah, we're just on the bait fish, going from bait fish school to bait fish school. That is insane. That's sweet. Oh. Dandy. That is awesome, dude. Beautiful northern Minnesota muskie. Heck yeah. Get him on the bump board real quick. Is he bumping? Yeah. Almost 40, yeah. 42 and a half. 42 and a half. Woo! All right. Oh, he was lively. Yeah. So good. Good to see. Woo! How much do you think that weighs? Probably, Probably he was a little slender, wasn't he? if it was less than 20. Less than 20, you think you'd be surprised? Yeah. That was legit. Out here chasing the balls of, what do you said, they're shiners? Lake, Summer shiners? Lake shiners, two of these Cisco's. That and is recovering from the spawn. That is awesome. All right, try again. You saw him doing all that. What do you think? Did you think we were gonna get him in? No, I didn't either. <laughs> I know that was insane. This stuff is crazy out here. right here. You saw him? Yeah, he's right here. Oh, he's big. He was right below it. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Dude, what the heck? Come on, baby. Stand down like a nice one. Stand down like a nice one. Really nice fish. Really oh. nice fish. Come on, baby, one time. Please. Oh boy, it's a nice one. Come on, baby! You got him! You got him! Yes! Yeah! Oh, oh. Yeah. oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Off in the net! He's 45 at least. Oh my gosh! All speed up. Yeah, he is. Nice going, dude! <laughs> I don't even know what was going on. I was looking at the front of the boat, like, oh my gosh! And it's like, wait a second! I think something just hit me. <laughs> oh my gosh! Holy crap. Two fish day. Oh my gosh. Ask for one, beg for more, and that's what happens. Dude, that one hurt my hand. <laughs> I was like, literally, I was looking up at you, looking at the front of the boat, made a cast. It's like, oh my God, something just hit my line. It's like, I'm gonna eat it. Look at the belly on that thing. You got a big old belly? Yeah. Look at that thing. Boy, you lively, huh? Oh my gosh. That's what I love about doing this. When you least expect it. Yep, that's musky fishing. Oh my gosh, this is insane, a two fish day. Well, I guess that's not super insane for you, but. Pretty far for the course, but. Yeah, that one hit so weird, I was not expecting it. And it's like, oh my gosh, I tried to rip it with just my left hand. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, you can kind of see that bait's been put to use. <laughs> is that one of your favorite baits? Yep, they like the fast sink. Get them to get that reaction strike. If you're a guessing man, what you think? If I was gonna put some money on it, I'd... I'd say 45 and a half. 45 and a half? Huge belly. 43. Almost touches 43. All right, this is one of his fairly decent spots. And as you can see, we got some bait on the graph. And this is a good spot where the bait circles around. You can see it over here. And we're going to get to cast in a little bit. Follow the bait schools around. He's got a bunch of different uh, spots and stuff. And get to cast in the fish of 10,000 casts. So you said. They're kind of 
they're off the spawn, so post spawn coming out to the flats kind of. Yeah, so when the water temp is about 50 degrees to 58 degrees, they'll be in spawning. And then once the water temp gets warmer, they'll move out here to recover from the spawn and start chowing down on bait fish. Try until we mark a school of bait fish and start casting for 20, 30 minutes. If we don't have any follows or anything like that, we're moving to the next spot. Gotcha. It's a pretty proactive way to fish and cover lots of water. This is the fever lake edition, so you get the Oh, yeah. Fast fall and the thump from the willow blade. Very, very clear water. Spin around. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty good. I always eat pickles on the boat. It's good luck. I'd rather have a pickle on the boat than a banana. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> good luck, pickles, everywhere we go. Yeah, right, we're going to switch her up. We've been seeing some decent fish, some decent bait balls. I got two on this. Switching it up. Usually the bigger bait gets bigger fish. Big old two. Big baits, big fish. Nice fish? Yeah. He's catching him. He's at a weird angle. Oh boy, he's huge! He's huge! Come on! No! I still got him. Huge fish. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! We got him! We got him! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Big fish? Yeah. Wait, oh huge. my gosh. Huge. Massive. Huge fish. Oh my gosh, dude. On the tube. Oh my gosh! Nice going. You earned that. Oh, dude, I could. I, yeah, that's way bigger. Wow, that's huge. Do you think that's 48? Gotta be 48. If he's not, I'll be freaking. I was gonna say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my good lord. How was that hook set? Oh, there was no question. There was a freaking musky there. That is a massive fish. Oh, he pulled the hook right out of my tube. Oh my gosh, dude, that is a giant. That is way bigger than the other ones. Nice fish. Oh my gosh. He might go 50. You think? Good. You were right, throw the tube on. For the bigger one. Oh my gosh. Quality fish. Holy crap. Jesus. That is a giant fish. He's got some power, man. We're gonna have to cut these hooks. Cutting the hooks? Always just cut him. Yep. Cut it out. Does he hook good? Oh god, he wasn't gonna come off. Okay. Doesn't hurt to get nervous though. Oh yeah. <laughs> when he went for the first net job, it's like, oh my gosh. Boy, when he dove, I was like, anything could happen. You know? I know. And that's when you were like awkward angle, awkward angle. It's like, oh, come on, one time, baby. I don't say anything that'll make you feel good. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Tell you what, my hand's getting a workout. Between casting and reeling in and catching fish. He'll definitely, gotta come out and try this with him. He might poop your pants. I might have there. <laughs> All right, we out? I gotta get a picture of that. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm gonna set this at the front of the boat. You should get a picture of that. Yeah, that is, holy, wow. Look at this fish, that is, way bigger than the other ones dude that's a couple sizes there <laughs> yeah dude that's a long fish oh my gosh that's you think that'll go 50 oh yeah there we go the hat trick <laughs> gotta go in oh my gosh thank you yeah that was no freaking legit Fucking massive 
The hat trick number three. You like Minnesota so far? Oh my gosh. Northern Minnesota beast. That is insane. This is what people quit jobs for. Look at that head. <laughs> Let's get a quick measure. For I bet sure. he goes 50. Right on it. Even over it. 50 is he bumping? Mouth, bumping? Mouth closed. 5 0 and a half. Yep, touched the 5 0 and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, that is a freaking giant. Oh yeah, <laughs> going down on the screen right there. That is pretty bizarre. Sometimes that's why you take chances. Took a chance driving up seven and a half hours, just fish one day with Mr. Tanner here. Got about six hours of sleep, five hours of sleep, drove the rest of the ever hour and a half, met up with him and speechless. Hey, you said if we get a big one, you'd take that uh, bush light peach. They just came out with the old bush light peach, so had to reward him. Let me know what you think. You like it? A little taste of Nebraska. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh boy, he's out! No! I still got him! Go, go, go! He got him! <laughs> oh my gosh! Massive!